girl. Yes! Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. So last time on Blueprint DIY, um, we had two trench coats that we were trying to upcycle. One was this light green trench coat and the other is this military raincoat. Yes, it is a real military, like vintage military raincoat. So we are going to make them amazing two-piece sets today. So we did the jacket slash tops um, in the last video. If you missed that, definitely go check that out if you want to know how to make the tops. We're going to be making both skirts today. They're actually fairly simple, but mm, the outcome, you don't want to miss it. I promise you. If you like layering pieces, if you like completely unique things that you're not going to see other people with, you're gonna love it. So uh, let's do it. All right, so let's talk about what we have left and what, how much fabric we have to work with. So this is the light green one. Let me pull it down so you can see how much of it we have left. We also have the two sleeves. Um, we could use this to make a waistband um, or other things if we want to. We could use it to make it look like it has some ties on the side if we want to. Um, I don't know if they're long enough for that. But um, another thing to notice is that there is a stain right here. So as much as I might want all the length of this, I may not be able to use it. So as far as the waistband is concerned, it may end up that I'll have to cut off an amount of this and then I could just use that for the waistband so um yeah all right so here's the dark green one we actually have much more fabric on this one you can see it has quite a bit of length um so and then it also has a matching belt which is amazing because we can use that to belt the skirt it also has the curve from before um, we may use a little bit of that I don't think a whole lot but yeah it's plenty of fabric to work with we're gonna try to keep these as simple as possible just so you guys know how to turn these into skirts and make it quick and easy but first we want to go try these on and see um, how we want to get them to fit all right so you want to just take each one around you to see how much room you have left so you can see I have quite a bit um, left here but I'm not gonna really do too much to the front of it I think I'm gonna take it in in the back you could also take it in on the sides you have several options and it depends on whether you want to take it in with pleats or you just want a straight take in put it on my waist about where I want it to hit and I really like the pockets right here where they're hitting I think that that's a good place that means that all of my extra is in the back and so I can decide whether I want to take it just straight down a seam all the way down the back or whether I want to add pleats and I think that I would like to add pleats but I am just going to add a pin back here so I know how much I you know how many inches I can pleat. This one has much more room to be taken out and so um, I'm putting it on buttoning it up to see exactly how much that is and how or if I want to take it out all right so that's what we get in the back if we gather um yeah <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. All right, so this one is gonna be taken in really just like the other one, but it already has a belt loop in the back that is separating it very nicely. So I can just go ahead and add pins on each section for exactly how much needs to be taken in. Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. And you all always say like, um, oh my gosh, you should get a dress form. I actually do have two dress forms. The reason I don't do these projects on dress forms on camera is because um, in the sewing world, a dress form is a luxury. And I want you guys really to know that you can do these projects without it. So that's what it looks like with it pinned. We will sew it down all the way down um, on each side 
and um, come back, try it on again and see what we have. All right, so while I'm doing that, definitely, if you have not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button below if you're enjoying this content and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Also, please share this video so everyone will know all the amazing stuff going on here. We're almost to 200,000. I want to make it by the end of the year. So subscribe and share. Thank you so much. All right, so we're back with our light green one and we have our pen in there to show us how much of it we can lose. And let's measure that to see what that is. Three and a half, three and a half is seven. So we get, we can lose seven inches off of that. So we can go ahead and take that pen out now that we know. Um, and, but before we do that, we probably want to cut off this length in order to get rid of this stained part. And like I was saying before, this then can end up being the waistband if we can fold it in a way where we don't see the stain. So this is the back seam where, um, and this is the bottom where we cut off the extra four inches. This is the top up here. I'm going to fold the side seam and touch the back seam so that we can get that pleat in between the two. And it's actually not gonna be a pleat. We're just taking out. And we have three and a half. Half of three and a half is one and three quarters. So we have one and three quarters that we can take out of this side. And you can pin it all the way down and then go ahead and wrap that around your waist, braced waist one more time just to make sure that you're taking the right amount out. All right, so we have that one in, then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Ouch. All right, so that's kind of how that's gonna look once we have those seams in there. And you can, um, of course, once you put the seam in, you can actually fold the seam to one side or open up the seam and do some top stitches if you want. Oh, extra buttons, yay. I want to add these into the seam. So we're gonna take those out and what I think I want them in like that. And then I'll take the button off as well and add the button right there. I think that's gonna be super cute. All right, so this is the reason why I told y'all to try it back on, this. I, yes, no, 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 that's not gonna work. So what it is, is my hiney. <laughs> um, I cannot do those pins just straight down with the same uh, measurement all the way down. Um, so it's gonna be different for everyone, so make sure that you try that on. Some people will just be able to go straight down, but um, I may not have curves in this side, this way, but I do have them front to back. So I need to go ahead and take that second pin measurement out a little bit and um, try it on again. All right, so from this, I can pin it. It is snug in the hips. I do want it snug, um, but I see that I could probably take it in just a hair more in the, Shoot. Whew. It's one of those days. Oh, um, I could probably take it in just a hair more in the waist. So, um, yeah, so I just get really, really snug in the waist. So we're going to take it in just a hair and then we're going to go ahead and sew it down. All right, so we have the skirt. We have put in the seams. I've tried it on just to make sure they are correct, and they are. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess, and then I'm going to open it up. Um, you can serge the edge. Um, if you don't have a serger, you could have done a flat fell seam or take fray check to the edge, or you can do one of your overlock stitches on your sewing machine if you have multiple stitches. All right, so I am using a twin needle for this. If you look carefully, Hopefully you can see two needles there. I will do a video later on about more about this. This is my very first time doing it. So, um, you know, I'm not confident enough to teach you guys about it yet, but we're gonna try it here and see how it looks. That is rather satisfying. So let's see what it looks like on the other side. All right, so we got some really cool double seams on the back, but I'm just going to attach this. We're folding this in half. We're going to go ahead and clip this to the edge. And I pinned these in place because I don't wanna have to worry about where they are and 
making them even and stuff like that. And we're going to, since we have two pieces, once again, we're going to take these all the way around to close to meeting right in the center of the back. And then we're going to join them just to make sure that they're even. Then we'll turn it around and do the opposite side and meet in the middle. All right, so now in order to meet these in the middle, I'm gonna take it to where I want the seam to be. Add a pin and the same for the other one. And then we can attach these right at the pins. Once we line them up, we can take one pin out and them together. All right, then we wanna cut off the excess. I have to fold it to one side. There we go, now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and serge that and turn it down and add a top stitch. And also while we're at the sewing machine, we're also going to go ahead and turn this under. If you're not gonna serge it, you can just double fold, hem it, or if you have a serger, serge the ends and fold it once and hem it. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is make, you know, sew on this button. I actually have to sew on these buttons as well, but on the sewing machine, the, I'm gonna sew a button hole for the button. Yeah! Look at that. Yeah, feeling very accomplished. All right, let's move to the next one. All right, so for this skirt, the only thing I need to do is kind of reverse our, our pleat. All we have to do is measure how much. It's three and three quarters. And then we can take the pins out. All right, so we're gonna do that on both sides and then we can go to the sewing machine and take these in. All right, so we did that same and I wanted to show you guys, it took me one, two, three times to get this just right. Um, and of course I caught the butt curve before I started, which thank God I did. But I like to gently do these one at a time, especially this because going through this would have left marks so I can't undo it. So I have to do it a little bit at a time. And in general, I try to do that anyway because I don't like um, seam ripping so this helps me just to get it right and so now that I've gotten that all right and I have tried it on just to make sure I am going to go ahead and cut off the excess and then open it up fold the seam to one side and um, sew it all right so now that we have those uh, the skirt taken in I need to cut off the top to make it even the front is going to be higher than the back but um i'm not going to worry about that too much i just want to make sure i don't accidentally cut this belt off all right so some kind of way we got to figure out how to turn this under just slightly all along the edge okay so i definitely like how the skirt is turning out you'll see the full reveal in the end however let's throw in just a little more of a curveball a little you know i'm all about the details gotta like the details and i love straps so i have these two belts identical belts that i thrifted it, it's more common than you think <laughs> to thrift identical belts, but I want to use them as suspenders. This isn't the first time I've used belts as straps. Um, I do it actually quite often, but I want to get the measurement right so that they go this section right here. And I wanna add, all you wanna do is figure out how long you need them to be. So I just need to cut them off right here with this much length. And then the rest of the length, this part, I'm gonna attach to this part of the skirt. And when I take it to the sewing machine, I'm just gonna sew it right over the top stitch or right over that stitch. All right, I hope you guys are ready. Woo. Get yourself ready. Make sure you are sitting down for this. If you like runway fashion, make sure you're sitting down for this. But before we do that, I do have a free Facebook group for you guys. If you want to share your upcycles with other people, with like-minded positive people, then the link is in the description box below. And if you're interested in upcycle classes or getting perks behind the scenes and knowing ahead of time what videos I'm gonna do, then join my members only group. And the link is right below this video, that little join button. Hit that to learn more. All right, so let's see the light green one. We're soaring up high. I ain't got no clue How do I know what I mean to you? 
Yeah. Oh, I love this. This definitely looks like some designer resort wear collection. Normally resort wear, it has a specific look and this is definitely along that line. Matching set, um, those white boots. And if you didn't know, those boots are Kenneth Cole boots that I thrifted. They used to be black, they used to be taller. I cut them and painted them white and I do have a video on it. I'll link it here. But yes, I absolutely love this little outfit. Not something I would wear every day, of course, but yes, at together or as separate. I absolutely love it. If you want to see the top style in a different way without the bottom, definitely head on over to the first video. All right, so let's see the second one. Tell me your loss feels so blue. Leaving me on the spot so confused. Oh, baby. Girl. So sweet. Yeah. Definitely, definitely to me, looks like it is walking definitely like down the runway. I absolutely love just the concept of it. Like the concept is just really giving me so much life. I'm looking at it and I'm getting inspired by it, even though I did it, but it's like, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. And I, you guys know I love straps. I love anything like this. And so just pair it with the top. You know, the top was super unique, so it's going to really give some, you know, some vibes. And I just looped the straps through that little shoulder strap and it, voila, it, it's a whole look, like L-E-W-K look. <laughs> And you know what I want to do. You know what I want to do. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, what do I want to pair this with? You know what I want to pair it with. The peplum belt. Yes! Because I absolutely love straps. These straps, straps everywhere, yes! Yes, 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 I absolutely love this with the peplum belt. So yes, this is definitely gonna get a workout this fall and winter. And here, I just have it on with a tank top. But of course, I, I in Texas right now, it's still hot. I can't do the turtleneck, but of course, in the winter, um, I will definitely be rocking it with a turtleneck. It's gonna be super cute, and it's just gonna be amazing. So I hope you guys like this. Definitely let me know which one is your favorite, and if you can see yourself doing this, and and if you make any alterations to suit your body or your style, let everyone know in the comments because that is helpful to our community so people can envision how they could do it to suit. If they have a big chest, wide hips, whatever, we all need to know how we can do that. So help each other out in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. I have other videos over here for you right now, as well as this blazer. Um, it has lace inserts, super easy DIY. So go check that out, as well as the tops for the trench coast. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!